this thing that's hiding back here. Ooh, mystery. This is so awesome. Hi everyone. I am here with a huge haul, well over $500, mostly art supplies, but there's a few odds and ends thrown in. Most things are from Amazon. I will link my affiliate links below if you wanna purchase anything. It's been a few years, literally years, since I've done a haul here. It has been almost exactly a month since my cat Leo passed away. The first week was pretty rough. I spent a lot more time in bed and on the couch than I usually do. So that gave me a lot of time to go on my phone and buy things <laughs> and on my iPad and my laptop. I actually was being kind of productive though because I have this video ideas list in my phone that has been in there for many years and there are so many things that I never got around to purchasing the supplies for. A lot of things I want to try that I see on TikTok or Pinterest or even on YouTube and I actually sat down and bought a ton of different things that I had been meaning to and just procrastinated on. So this is the aftermath. We have a lot to get through, so let's get started with these Sharpies. I have a bit of a problem. Whenever I see a new Sharpie set, I buy it, but I haven't been doing the videos recently. So that needs to change, and I think that this set will give me a push in the right direction because this is 65 colors, different colors, every core color in the original Sharpie marker collection. I've customized a pair of shoes with Sharpies before, so I think I wanna do an art piece or customization with every color in here. If you have any ideas, let me know. Next, let's do another familiar face, Posca paint pens. This set is a little bit different because I've never used a Posca this big. Oh my gosh, what? These are actually massive. Whoa, so much juice. Look at that tip. I am not going to activate them in this video, sorry. What do we have next? How about I introduce you to Unicorn Spit, which I have not yet used. At least one of you recommended that I use this back when I did a bunch of wood burning videos. I've heard so many great things about it and I've seen a lot of cool techniques that people do here on YouTube. This set comes with seven, seven, seven. <laughs> Name that show, go. They're all really bright and pretty. What a fun name for a product too. Very catchy, very elusive. I have a few items from YouTubers. Let's start with this one here. This is a little box from a fellow artist here on YouTube. You may know her, Chloe. Chloe Rose Art, AKA Artistic Bear Co. In here, I purchased Chloe's set of five paint brushes. This one is so so soft and I am going to do a video dedicated to these. I think that they feel very professional, they look very professional, so they probably will perform very nicely. Cannot wait to try. Also, I really do love Chloe's artwork, so I had to snag a couple stickers as well. This is a holographic starry night bear and this is a poo with a B. It's so cute. This is gonna look like it went through an earthquake when I finally get to the actual video where I test them. Just know that they looked better before. How about because I showed someone else's merch, I show you my own now. These are some stickers from Sticker Mule. It is my own artwork of Stitches the Bunny Holiday Edition. 11 of each sticker. I thought that it said 10, but I, I wonder if they just give you an extra one to be nice. I think this is just matte and then holographic. I ordered these way too late and now it's kind of not even realistic to try to send them out to anyone. So I might just save them until next year and work on my normal like all year round designs that are not holiday themed. You know, you live and you learn. Even though I've been on YouTube for so many years, I'm just getting into the merch now. It's something that I am really disappointed in myself for putting off, but now I'm started and starting is one of the hardest steps, if not the hardest. I would like to share more of my merch journey and product journey when I finally start creating more things like enamel pins 
and why can't I think of anything else? Acrylic charms, maybe notebooks, plushies, different things. From what I can tell, Sticker Mule has really nice quality. Let's get the Crayolas out of the way so I clear a path for myself. This one, which is the 24 pack of the Colors of the World crayons, is actually something that I purchased way back in, I don't know, maybe March? Recently, when I was at Walmart, probably a month or two ago. I also wanted to add to my collection because I'm a Crayola supply hoarder. Two 24 packs of markers. One is fine line, one is broad line, so thin and thick. I've always been obsessed with Crayola and no matter how many professional art supplies I end up trying throughout my life, I'm always going to have a special place in my heart for these and will always try to make art with kind of like drugstore <laughs> supplies. Even though they are lower end and more affordable, that doesn't mean that you can't create great artwork with them. These two packs of crayons are the exact same. They're just so cute. I just told myself I needed two of them. And the thing I really, really love about these are the inspirational quotes and happy thoughts that they put on the side and on the names of the crayons. So when art supplies can make you smile a little bit extra in addition to, you know, the creation process, the colors, the names, the phrases, all of that, it's a huge plus. When Sharpie announced that they were releasing a skin tone line, I was so excited. I don't even know how often I'll use them, but I was still so excited that they were coming out with more colors and a way to maybe get into drawing people. I don't really draw people that often, probably because I don't practice and I'm like, ah, oh, that won't really look good, but maybe these will give me a kick to do so. How about this thing that's hiding back here? This is a bag full of giant paintbrushes and apparently a few pieces of sandpaper as well. I had no idea that they were including these. A four inch, a five inch, and a six inch professional fence and stain paintbrushes. I'm sure you can use them for other things. They're really, really soft and flimsy which they feel nice. However, when I tell you what I got them for, I don't know if they're gonna work for the technique that I want to try with them. We'll see. Also, they came with this nifty pole here to extend them. We can do some long range painting. <laughs> I have always admired Betsy Johnson's collection. I watched her dance on Dancing with the Stars. I love how eclectic she is and how she dances to the beat of her own drum and doesn't follow trends, she creates her own. So she's a really big inspiration to me and I love bows so much. I'm wearing a bow necklace right now. I have bow socks on. Oh, I'm not that flexible. I have a hair on my foot, my hair is shed everywhere. Over here, one, two, three packs of canvas panels. Nine nine by twelves, nine eight by tens, nine five by sevens, and nine eleven by fourteen inch. It also comes with these two sticker sheets so you can label the back. I'm okay with that. It's not like the greatest quality, but they're okay and they got pretty good reviews, so I'm not too concerned. If I really, really love the artwork that I made on it, I could always mount it to something else and frame it, I guess. So we'll see. Oh my gosh, these are so heavy. So these are probably better quality. It's basically the same exact thing, but a different brand. So these are the brand got a deal or go to deal. Got to deal, got to deal, like getting a deal on something. I believe this has seven of each size. This set most definitely feels a little bit more sturdy. Yeah, this one definitely bends a little bit more. So I think I'll use this first brand for less important things. And then once I actually practice, I'll use these. As I mentioned, everything's gonna be listed in the description box below. So if you want a link to purchase a specific product, just check down there. And also if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. Finally, we have the big kahunas. Working big is really difficult for me because I take forever to do things, especially art. And also it's harder for me to make things look the way I want them to. Like lines are not as straight when I do them big. It's just harder for some reason. This could be a little barbell as well. <laughs> and as promised, I told you I would disclose one of my ideas for a future video. I was planning to try the wavy painting technique where you, whoa, where you squirt a bunch of different colors on the canvas. It's just an abstract fun thing. And then you just make waves. When I do those videos, I'll definitely look up who I got inspiration from. I think I'm following a couple of them on Instagram. This is the new Mariah Elizabeth art and paint set. I actually am doing a thrift store makeover with this set, so you'll get to see everything tested and up close there. I did an unboxing, 
but here is a little peek inside. Nine different paints, some paint brushes, some dotting tools, and it all rolls up in this nice case here. I love the colors, I love the design. I'm so excited to try everything. They are adorable and Mariah's characters are on the paint bottles. There's rainbows on everything, I love it. And Mariah, I don't know if you're watching this, I am so proud of you. I'm so happy to see everything that you accomplished. I've been watching Mariah's videos for so many years and I love her style. This is so awesome. There's actually one more YouTuber product. Ta-da! This is the official Karen Puzzles puzzle. Look how colorful this is. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with Karen Cavett back when she had her craft and DIY channel. I think I've probably been following her for eight years. I'm not quite sure, but it's been a long time. So just like Mariah, I really just have been admiring her work over the years. I've been pretty quiet, like I don't comment very often, but I did see Karen speak on a panel at VidCon or Play, I think it was VidCon with Lore DIY. That was really cool. I thought that this one would be extremely challenging and fun for the winter because it gets really cold in Ohio and it's just kind of a fun hobby for when I don't feel like doing anything outside. This is 3,000 pieces and it's a collaboration that she did with the Ravensburger brand and that's so awesome. So congratulations, Karen. And I don't know, it'd be fun to like kind of incorporate this into a craft video in some way. Like not really show me do the puzzle, but maybe like paint on a giant puzzle piece or paint on tiny puzzle pieces. Some sort of customization video, I'm not sure. Probably gonna take so long to do because I'm not quite as skilled at puzzles as Karen. Since we just did a couple YouTube merch items, I'm gonna just show this. I ordered it for me. If you want one, it is available on my Teespring. This is a nice cozy hoodie featuring Holiday Stitches the Bunny. If you don't mind just wearing this after Christmas and kind of treat it as like a winter thing or a pajama, then please support me, feel free. But I will have more products coming out at the beginning of 2023, maybe a few months in. I don't wanna give you any false hope, but I am working on things. I do have one more non-art supply product before we get into all this paint. This box here is from Steve Madden. I don't know how often I'm gonna be able to wear these. It might just be for Instagram reels, maybe for New Year's Eve, I don't know. Thigh high rhinestone boots. They're very sparkly, and I'm sure that's all you really care to see because you're like, get on with the art supplies. <laughs> but I just had to show you because they make me extremely happy. I don't know what I would do without just randomly dressing up for fun. I am so excited to have these. At the bottom here is a box that I showed in my Painting Pumpkins video and I had you all guess what was inside. Well, that's probably gonna be the last thing that I show because, ooh, mystery. I think some of you got it right. I don't think I've ever tried Amsterdam acrylic paints before, so I got three sets, naturally. There's this little one here. This one contains six tubes of pearl paint which make this really Really gorgeous effect. This is a 12 pack of pastel colors. The tubes are kind of tiny. I usually use, I think, two ounce bottles, but a little does go a long way. So I'm still looking forward to using these. And this set here is called the General Selection, which has 24 different colors of acrylic paints. I'm not sure how thick these paints are. I know the Liquitex is supposed to be heavy body which will work really well for this cool technique I wanna try, which is kind of like a textured 3D painting. And you can use uh, piping bags to make flowers and really cute things. In case it's not thick enough, I do have this modeling paste, which is high density by PBO. I don't exactly know if that's how you pronounce it, but this stuff is supposed to make the paint even thicker. This is a 48 pack of Liquitex colors, by the way. Also, I got these two sets of palette knives. There's one that's a high-end and one that's a very affordable one. There are six palette knives in here and there are five in the cheaper set. I read very mixed reviews on this more affordable set, so I wanted to get the good ones as well in case I really end up liking the technique and I don't want the poor quality potentially of these to sway my opinion and make me not wanna do any of the textured paintings. I believe these were around $35 and these were under 10. This is a 36 pack of pastel colored acrylic paints by Caliart. 
art. Something I really like about this set, I haven't even tried any of them yet, I just really like that these bottles are two ounce ones and those ones are, um, let's see here. These are only 0.74, the Liquitex. These are 0.7. I do not like mixing my own colors. I find it to be a pain in the butt and I just like having them pre-made. When you get to like high-end paints, they're so expensive that it's not really practical to get every single color. It's way more affordable to mix your own in that case, but these are pretty cheap. So I'm glad that I have so many color options. This set here is by Montmartre. And the cool thing is I ordered these after I got the metallic set from Home Goods. I did not even realize I was getting the same exact brand just in the normal set instead of the metallics. There's 48 of them and they are the bright colors set. I'm glad I actually did like the metallic set of paints though because these should be pretty good quality. If you haven't seen that video, by the way, I will link it below. I did an entire painting on a wood panel using the metallic set of this brand of paint. Finally, let's get on into the mystery box. Oh, if you guessed gouache, you are correct. Now I'm not gonna actually open these in this video. I want to do a video with my first reaction. I have seen so many aesthetic videos of people opening their jelly gouache set and creating art with it. I believe I saw this particular set from Ray on Super Ray Dizzle's channel. So thank you, Ray, for the inspiration for this set because most people have the Himmy one, I believe. This is the Mia one, Maya, Mia. Mia, <laughs> there are 56 colors in here. Hold me accountable, please, if I am taking a really long time to say, Sarah, hey, remember you got those jelly gouaches? Like, please don't be an art supply hoarder. Please use them, please show us. That was everything. If you have a certain item slash project that I mentioned that you want to see me use really, really soon before the others, please comment your suggestions and requests below. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I don't know when this video is going up, but I'm filming it on December 11th. See you soon in my next video, bye.